Hi, I'm Michael Roberts and this is my assembly video within the fitted furniture installation. So, my first example features some bridging wall units um, requiring pelmets to be fitted and fixed underneath. I cut the pelmets to size and clamped it roughly into position. This allowed me to, one end at a time, loosen the clamp slightly and insert 2mm packers in between the pelmet and the unit at uh, evenly spaced intervals. And then squeeze the quick grip clamp again until it was until it had a firm hold. This creates an even shadow line all the way across as required to meet organ organizational standards. It also needed to be flush with the front of the decor panels at either end of the pelmet and also the frames which have been fitted to the front of the cabinets. So next I fitted brackets to the pelmet. I sprayed mitre activator on the pelmets where receiving the brackets and then applied super glue to the bracket. I butted the bracket up to the decor panel and then quickly pressed it against the pelmet to ensure good positioning before the glue set. I adjusted the pelmet until in the correct position and marked, marked it on the back edge with a pencil. This is now my datum for when it comes to fixing it into position. I used stretcher plates since the longer holes in the brackets allow you to make decent amount of adjustment when fixing into position so it doesn't need to be exact first time. I did the same on both ends and in the middle checked all the datums were met and with a final visual inspection from the front I removed the clamps, the packers and since the shadow line was consistent throughout and the pelmet was flush with the frame it was meeting organisational standards I was happy to leave it there. Another example of assembly is also this decor end. It needed to be cut around a quartz upstand which had been installed. Once cut, I marked 22mm from the front edge near the top and bottom of this panel, since this is the thickness of the doors. This is my datum for when it comes to fixing. I lined up these markings with the front of the unit and clamped it into position. I positioned the clamps near the height of my fixing points to ensure the panel can't, be, uh, can't move as I drive in the screws. Organisational standards would allow me one millimetre over or under either side of this line. Um, but I checked at regular intervals to make sure that it was pretty much bang on. As you can see, I positioned the front two fixings in line with the hinge plates, as this will then be hidden once the doors have been fitted and the hinges are over the top. Since I can't get a clamp anywhere to hold the back of the panel, I hold it firmly from the outside as I drove screws in from the inside to ensure the screws don't just push the panel away. I checked my reference markings were still against the front of the unit, used my spirit level to ensure the front edge of the panel was plumb, then stuck white stickers and sc or screw caps over the screws to hide any of my fixings. This ensured organisational standards were met.